the streets of Vegas. My name when I'm loving you. Daddy needed to. Girl, give me one shot. I want the real thing. I want the real thing. How about you? Is it the real thing? My man, Nico Blue. What's up? What's, What's up? up with your family? How you doing, man? All right, yeah, man. Appreciate you coming through, man. Yes, Absolutely, man. So how you feeling, man? I feel good, man. Good, man. I understand. Uh, yeah, birthday coming up tomorrow. Yes, man. Yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah, happy yeah. early birthday. Happy early birthday. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. I appreciate. You know, it's a lot of uh, maybe some turn up involved, a little bit of some a little party. Maybe. And stuff. Maybe. Yeah, you gotta celebrate them birthdays, man. They only come once a year. You right? You know, I mean, year is a long right. time, man. You right? Year is a long time, man. So, man, uh, this is the first uh, R&B singer I've had on the show this year. You know, maybe not the last, but definitely the first on the season three. And I've uh, been checking him out for a while, man. Um, first and foremost, I got to introduce to him. Shout out to my man, Big Scoon. Big Scoon, uh, what up, yeah, brother? kind of set it up and he was telling me about you. Like, man, you got to check this guy out. You got to check. So, all right, man, what does he do? You know, he's like, the R&B. I missed it with the show when you had the party and yeah. all that stuff. But yeah. uh, ever since then, I've been following him. I said, I'm just waiting on the opportunity to, uh, you know, to sit you down and really, really chop it up. So, once again, shout out to Scoon. So, how did you and Scoon look up? Like, how did, how did that come about? Actually, Spoon, I met Spoon through uh, a job. Um, he uh, he was in a grocery store, and I saw him. And um, I don't know, we just we just uh, connected. And, um, Stop he talking about music or something. Yeah, like that. He, he was always uh, just uh, welcoming, mm -hmm. just with everybody. Yeah, uh, good, good, good he, spirit. Good, good, yeah, yeah, good, good, good spirit, yeah. and yeah. everybody loved him. And he was just, you know, he made everybody feel like they was at home. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like he. You know, everybody knew who he was. So. Yeah, how did y'all figure out, like, <clears throat> both of y'all mess with music? How did that, like... I mean, it just came about. Um, mm -hmm. I think somebody told me that he, he, he did music, and he was a DJ. Mm -hmm. And um, we just began to talking, and, mm -hmm. you know, it just happened like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's that's like old school, how, like, DJs still kind of... They, they put on new artists, I shed the light on them, so I, I love that aspect of it. Yeah. He's bringing somebody to the light that I would have probably never heard of, so yeah. he's a bridge for that yeah. connection, man. That's my that, brother. Yeah, that's dope, man. That's definitely dope. Now, how did, how did you get how did you get to Vegas? Because I understand you from Cape uh, Can Canaveral? Cape Canaveral, that's where I'm from. Well, actually, um, I, was in, um, I was born in Cape Canaveral, Florida, mm -hmm. and um, I was raised in Atlanta. Okay, what part of Atlanta? Like, uh, man, I've been all over, but mostly I would say Cobb County. Okay, okay. Cobb okay. County area, area. Is there anywhere near any of the, the woods? I know they got uh, zones. There's zones out there, like zones. Yeah, like zone <laughs> six, and I know zone six is like Gucci. <laughs> and like, is it crazy with the zones out there like that? Or like, how was you when you was down there? Like in that, would you say, uh, like in that era? Like, is that like we talking about like high school, middle school? Like, uh, say, I was, I was, I would say, until I was like. Probably fourteen. Okay. Fourteen. It was probably think. still when when uh, the booty records and all that. Was yeah, 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 yeah. They had they had this big thing called Freak Nick. Freak Nick. I remember Freak Nick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Freak Nick. Okay. That was huge, huge out there. man. Yeah. But I was a little boy, so I, yeah. I ain't gonna you couldn't know even that participate. Yeah, I didn't know what that was about. Yeah. 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 And that was like annual. It was like every year. Every year. Yeah. I remember every that, year. Man. Every I was one. I was. I was like, you know, I'm originally from rural Kentucky, but I used to hear about. I'm like, damn, man, that sounds like. That is popping. Yeah, that is popping, man. That's crazy. That ATL, wild, man. Yeah, that ATL it was wild. culture, that whole mm -hmm. culture. Was you doing any music then? Was your career not, not, not at all? Not, not at all. I ain't know nothing about music. Mm, Wasn't even crazy. thinking about music. Wow, that's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. And so then, from from uh, Florida to mm -hmm. Atlanta, mm -hmm. and then how did how did the Vegas? How did you get to Vegas? Uh, actually, I was in um, when I when I came from. Uh, Atlanta, mm -hmm. I came to the West Coast. Like I went to San Diego. Okay. I went to high school out there in San okay. Diego. I seen while. yeah, you did you went back and did some shows and yeah, so I you still got some roots in San Diego too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I still got a whole whole lot of friends out there. My mm -hmm. my dad lives out there. Okay. I was out there for a while. Mm -hmm. Um and then at the time I came to, um my mom had moved to Vegas mm -hmm. and um I just wanted to be closer to her. That was like eight years ago though. Okay. I wanted to be closer to her. Close to, to a minute, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's understandable. Man. That's not Vegas. too far. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love San Diego. The weather is the only thing wrong with the cost of living is too damn high. Man, it's like man, <laughs> that is man. It's it's that'll make, make you be homeless on the beach out yeah, there. Like, 
Man, it's, it's way crazy. too. That's why yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. I would love to go back to San Diego. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really would, but, but it's like, damn, you gotta, you gotta have some kind of sustainable by, income. To at least about three jobs. To yeah, keep yeah. Then, then, then you ain't got to worry about your house. You ain't gonna never be home. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Shout out to them. shout out to them, man. Yeah. You yeah, got roots in, in like four different areas. Yeah, that's crazy. Them all over, man. Yeah, that's crazy. All over. But it's good. You all can go over. back and, and revisit them and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, so then you came to Vegas. Now I understand you said you stay in Henderson too, right? Yeah, I stay in Henderson. Okay, okay, yeah. Hendo. So yeah, Hendo, Hendo in the house. We just had a lot of guests on here. Shout out to Will B from Henderson. All them cats from well, Henderson, man. Um, yeah, that, that, that that's crazy, man. That's, that's yeah, crazy. Man. And I understand from when you started out. I know you, uh, you know, like the name changed and all that. Even formerly, mm-hmm. formerly went by is it Lionel D? Mm-hmm. Lionel D. That's my real name. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you transition to the Nico Blue. I think Nico Blue had it just says it says something else. You know what I mean? Yeah. But how hard was it for you to change from you know with the name change? I know it was recommended by yeah, people, right? Yeah, yeah. My, my manager. Uh, shout out to Jessica. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, uh, Brooks Universal. Shout out okay. to her. Okay. And uh, uh, just a backstory with me and uh, Brooks Universal and Jessica. Uh, That's she was up uh, yeah. Brooks mm-hmm. Universal. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, she was a uh, managing artist, a real talented artist. She's mm-hmm. a singer. She's amazing. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, back before she, uh, uh, we both had an event to do a Mother's Day, Mother's Day event with a okay. bunch of R&B singers and okay. pop artists or whatever. And mm-hmm. uh, me and her, we always had a good rapport. And uh, you know, I, I knew she done, did management. And mm-hmm. People at was trying to manage me at the moment. Time just turned it down. You see, mm-hmm. he's basically so yeah. I was, I was weeding him through, and yeah. me and her just yeah. always had a good rapport. And uh, she became my manager. And um, you know, and before, uh, some people told me that my name was too mm-hmm. my real name, Lionel D, was just too uh, you know, it didn't really stand out. Okay, okay, that was before I received her, but I didn't really pay attention. Mm-hmm. And uh, to to uh, got to Jessica, she mm-hmm. told me that um. You gotta change the name because it's not really marketable. And plus, mm-hmm. you have uh, Lionel Richie. Okay. You know what I mean? So, Even though you spell it different, mm-hmm. and it's not nothing close to it. Mm-hmm. Like I guess, yeah. That's so, weird, man. So, was it hard to take that? Even though that's like professional, constructive marketing criticism, mm-hmm. was it kind of hard to be like, man, I didn't build all this up with this name, mm-hmm. and you know? You know. Yeah, because I, I, I actually I just put out a album. Wow, under that name. Under my name. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Under my, under and under your first album name. was uh, Love Story, right? Love Story. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, go yeah. comment and check that out. <laughs> it's on YouTube, it's on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, all the streaming platforms. Man, yeah. that's crazy. So, and then you just took that advice, and it was almost like a rebirth of the career. Like, yeah, it's like, man. okay, now I got to come just back. A, a brand new start, a brand new, uh, just a rebrand, and um, just, a, just a background of the name. Um, my middle name is Nicholas. Okay. And okay. Um, we just shortened it up to Nico, mm-hmm. and uh, my favorite color is blue. But okay. I just changed the EU. Just yeah, that was, different. that was crazy. You know? Yeah, that was crazy. Just yeah, it kind of rubbed it. You know? Yeah, did it feel like a rebirth from like I know you're the same person, but are from the artistic standpoint, did it feel like man, I, I'm in new skin now? Cause of it, my did. Yeah. it did. It did. Because I, I, you know, uh, originally um, I had braids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I changed my hair color. Okay. Oh, you did the yeah. whole. I did the yeah. whole yeah. whole thing. The whole thing. So, so, okay. Yeah, man. That's that's something else, man. Yeah, that's man. Something else. Now that little story, when did that drop? It was like that what? dropped uh, last year in August, August twenty eighth. Okay, okay. August twenty eighth. That's an important. Uh, you had it. Was it Ninja Karaoke? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How yeah. you like that spot, man? Yeah, it's a cool spot. And I got you know I I I, I got it through Big School. You know, yeah, Big School. Yeah. They yeah. plugged it in See, for me. The plugs are valuable, y'all. Yeah, the, man. The relationships and connections are valuable, man. Relationships are important. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. very yeah. important. I see you got a nice little following on online too. Man, how did you amass such a such a uh, huge following, man? Was it like I would say it's just uh, it's just content, man. Um, you know, a lot of the DJs, thought I mean Kelly J. A lot yeah, of yeah. Actually, yeah. With, with Kelly J, I've, I've known Kelly J for ten years. Yeah, yeah. shout out to Kelly J. Oh, you yeah. go back like that? Yeah, yeah. I've known her for a long, long time. Mm-hmm. Um, 
don't know, we all, she was DJing back then before, and we, we had a close relationship before, and then I came back to Vegas, and, you know, she, um, Kelly J is a real good person. That's right? what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like we're talking about, mm-hmm. they, they, they're hard to find genuine people mm-hmm. in this game. It's hard she's to real find. Good, real good person. Oh, she man. she grinds, man. She's a hard worker. Absolutely. Worker. absolutely. So shout out to Kelly J. If you're watching, yeah, absolutely, I see you. man. Yeah. And, and making them like the connections in this in this game, people that can play your music with shit, like mm-hmm. them, stuff like that. that mm-hmm. That's that, that's valuable, man. That's absolutely. Huge, man. Absolutely. Yeah. And so I know like some of the joints, uh handyman. It's hard to mend the broken heart. Cause he wasn't treating you the way that he needed to. Girl, give me one shot. Oh, okay, okay. So it's, it's kind of like your two uh identities are fighting for Yeah, 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 you know, so that, that is that is weird. So man. I mean the, the you know the plan later on I want I wanna uh just put all put like everything out under my just to rebrand it, just rebrand it. Yeah, just to put yeah, it out. The content is still good. Yeah. Just rebranding mm-hmm. every package. Mm-hmm. Yeah. People get confused sometimes. Yeah, yeah, when they look they love the like, music. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they, they, they love the music. Yeah. And and we was talking about, you know, we touched on what we went on air about um this era uh, of the grind of it, like, you know, and, and how do you feel about um like a, you know, like I was saying, everything seems to take more than what you expect. Yeah. Know? What do you think is the, the most part? I know as a, as a creative, you got to come up with stuff, but like social media plays a big part of that too. Absolutely. Keeping, up, yeah, Absolutely. keeping the presence up and Absolutely. all that. Yeah. yeah. Feeding your your, your followers yeah. and all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You gotta. It's 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 all about content. Mm-hmm. It's all about yeah yeah fresh new ideas, mm-hmm. pictures, photos, mm-hmm. videos. Um, mm-hmm. Everything is so fast. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. It's very so, instant gratification. So you gotta, you yeah, know yeah, me, yeah, 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 yeah. So you yeah, gotta yeah. keep these people intrigued. And me, I like I was telling you behind the scenes, you know, I'm a private person, so right. you know, I don't really like the people. I don't really like people know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And just give them enough. Just give them enough. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, especially if you're a private person, mm-hmm. like. Camera don't gotta be on me all the time. Yeah, y'all, y'all yeah, see what y'all need yeah. to see. I see. Get to know yeah. it. It's almost mm-hmm. like you gotta let them in to to know a little bit about you. Yeah. To uh, absorb you and, and and like you know rock with you. But right. I can't see everything. Right. You know? Right. Right. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. And then I know the one record. Um, Best when you got nothing on, girl. Stay up off your Instagram, put down your phone. Let's get all the way fucked up while we're here alone, baby. I know what you like when the sun's too and I touch you. I'ma do it right. Take my time with it, no rush through. Patience to hurt you, I can work you, feel like good. I just wanna hear you tell me it feels good when I'm touching you. Got more stuff coming soon, so it's great. Love got a real pop crossover feel, too. Yeah, man. Real, I really, yeah, I man. noticed that when I seen you perform at the at the Emmy, uh, the Ron's event, mm-hmm. and I'm like, wow, you know what I mean? Just the, the, want the real thing, I want the real thing. How about you? Is it the real thing? Is it the yeah, that the other ones couldn't, but that one like jumped out the gate, yeah, you know, like man, you yeah. know what I mean? Pe- so, man, people love that song. They had like a reggae vibe almost like that. Yeah, song, yeah. Yeah. It's a good summertime record. Yeah, right right now. yeah summertime record. People yeah. still, I mean, I put that song out last year and people still love it. Really? I, That's the thing about it. Sometimes it takes people, and I know even as like, on a DJ perspective, sometimes people sleep on records when they come yeah, out. Yeah. And it'll be like, man, I've been dropped this. Yeah. And then like, by the time it, it builds up momentum. It builds up. It'll, be, it'll, it'll be like probably like three years later. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? yeah. Like, what was this at? Yeah. Like, we were dropping you this year. <laughs> That, that, that's crazy, but if, if it's good music, it, it, it'll last. Yeah, you know, it'll last. absolutely, man. Absolutely. What, what were some of your um, uh, influences in the R&B game? Being like, especially that you come from so many different regions. Mm-hmm. What, what were some of your influences coming up? You 
say? Like old school R and B? Uh, I love old school, I love old school R and B, but my main influencers uh, just growing up. Uh, I would say, far as like entertainer wise, mm -hmm. is of course Michael Jackson. Of course, yeah. Um, go. I would say, yeah, the yeah. Gold greatest. I would say, far as the uh, far as the musician, mm -hmm. um, I would say Prince. Oh yeah, he Cold played, Boy, he yeah, he, yeah. Cold he, Boy. He, he played everything. Yeah. You know? Cold Boy. Mm -hmm. um, as far as like, I would say, like you know, I try to categorize him as far as like you know, entertainer, mm -hmm. musicians, writing. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. See, yeah. I would yeah. say a writer mm -hmm. is grown. Is grown. No, listening. It's uh, Stevie Wonder. Yeah, Stevie's a cold writer. Yeah, I didn't know what a cold writer he yeah. was. And he been around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wrote some records. Mm -hmm. I found out. I didn't even know. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. You know. You know who else was a cold writer that did a lot of stuff? It's Smokey Robinson. Smokey. Yeah. 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 I, I, I'm like, yeah. man. He ate off. He. I think he ate more off writing than his actual records he put out. Yeah. Because he was yeah. writing for Motown. Yeah. You know what I mean? Writing yeah. for the machine. But uh, that's good. So you still grew up in that era where you got a, a wide range of yeah. I got yeah. a wide range because my yeah. I, you know my mom she blasted Sade, uh, oh, man, Anita yeah, Baker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I grew up on that. I listened yeah. to it. She would blast it twenty four seven. Just the old you that's, know that's old that's, that's a good you know that's what I mean? a good uh. Clean up around the house music. Yeah, you know that's, I mean? that's exactly what she was doing. And like I wasn't even trying I wasn't even trying to learn the song. She yeah. would play it so much and after a while I knew the whole song. Yeah, it's just some you know I mean? it's yeah. just running it like running yeah, in my head. Like with that Nita record coming yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Sade. She yeah, like oh, man. Sade is <laughs> man, dude. She needs to come back with some stuff. Do you feel that like over the years that R and B has um uh like it's not what it was, that it's tapered off, and, and why do you think that it is? I mean, it's still, to me, it's still needed and relevant, but do you think it, it, it tapered off a little bit, or what? Uh, I mean, it depends on how you feel about it. Um, um, I personally feel like it's it, it, it tapered off. People are trying to bring it bring it back, bring, yeah. that, bring that soul back. Now yeah, it's about, yeah, yeah. Now it's about, uh, I would say, back then it was, it was more feeling, it was more, Emotion, it was more passion. Yeah. yeah. Um, now it's it's more. I would say just I just want to hit. Yeah. That's what they put in. I do. You know. I it seems it. like to me yeah. like with a lot of the R and B artists now, uh, a lot of cats feel they got to get a rapper on the track. True. Yeah. yeah I'm true. Like, true. They they didn't have that though. Why why do y'all feel like now you have to get a rapper almost to validate? Your existence now, it's like, dude, just do the R and B. Yeah, just do what you do. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't know why. Like they throw a little verse on there. It might not be much, but it'll be so and so featuring that somebody. You really didn't need that. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, I, really feel, I mean, I think, I think right now with R and B, people are trying to. I don't know. It's it's evolving. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's evolving. You gotta, you yeah. gotta. You gotta mm -hmm. It's like now you gotta adjust with it. Yeah, you're not yeah. gonna be relevant. Yeah, that's you true. I mean? That's true. That, that, you can stay that's in, so true. Yeah. You can stay in this lane. Every is a, it's a market for everything, mm -hmm. but you know, if you want to be relevant, mm -hmm. you know, you got to go with the time. You got to go with the time. Yeah, 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 without compromising mm -hmm. as much as you possibly. You run. You Absolutely. Run. It's like you'll stay in that lane, but you'll be the only cat in that lane, right? <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody <laughs> messing with me. Yeah, ain't nobody out there. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. how, how do you feel about the um? The, the Vegas scene compared to other markets, uh, being that you like, um, you know, you performed in Vegas, mm -hmm. and I know you did some stuff in San Diego. Mm -hmm. So how would you compare those 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 markets as far as um, you know the, the independent artists coming up? You know, like yourself, how would you compare those markets? Uh, I would say Vegas. You know, it's, it's I know a lot of artists out here. Do you? you? Yeah, and man, they on the grind. They trying to you know everybody out here trying to grind. Um, yeah. I would say opposed to. I, I really don't know much as far as um, San Diego, mm -hmm. uh, the artists out there. I know a couple mm -hmm. that's out there doing, you know, doing their thing. Um, yeah. I would say uh, in Atlanta, mm -hmm. I went back out there not too long ago. Mm -hmm. About I would say about five years ago. Okay. Yeah, I went back out there, lived for like two years, mm -hmm. and came back to Vegas, and um, out there. It's a different beast. So it's, it's a whole different, different animal. It's a whole yeah. different. Everybody okay. out there just. Yeah. You think it's Ryan. oversaturated? Like you think it's, but like you say, everybody's out there. It's probably at a different pace and different level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. 
It's, yeah. I mean, it's just, I'll say in Atlanta, everybody, you know, uh, I don't know, they, they help each other build. Okay, yeah. Build, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Build. We, let's build but together. It's, it's yeah. everybody's going out there. Everybody's Everybody, going out yeah, just to get on, because yeah. that's like, Atlanta's a, you know, black Hollywood. Yeah, right? it's, so, it's like the gateway. It's mm-hmm. like everybody, yeah, yeah. A lot of cats have transplanted down there, like mm-hmm. relocated and all mm-hmm. that. So you went out there just to see how just maybe just take a, the yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, I went back. I went back out there and um, I had I got I got a chance to intern with some songwriters. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. that's big. For like a year. Um, their name was uh, their name is Rock City. They're from uh, the Virgin Islands. Okay. Okay. And, um, is it like a group? Yeah, it's a group. Okay. They wanted One you to like write for them. Or something? No, I, I didn't write. I was just I was just watching. Oh, okay. I was just watching. I was just observing mm-hmm. and. Um, they wrote, uh, and they wrote a lot of hits. They wrote, mm-hmm. they wrote a hit. They wrote, uh, if I can name some of the songs that they did. Mm-hmm. They did uh, Rihanna. Uh, oh, they did they, 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 like yeah. that. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know if you heard the song Poured Up. Oh, yeah, Poured they up. did that. Yeah, they did that. Uh, mm-hmm. They did a song with Beyonce. So they was like a camp of writers. Yeah, or something? no, it was just it was just it was just two two guys. Mm-hmm. One is a rapper and one is a singer. Oh, the one that okay. one that sings, mm-hmm. he did all the writing. But it was a collaborative thing. Yeah. Know? But they got a whole bunch of hits, and um, just being around them for the short period of time, it was, it was very inspiring because they don't they don't write nothing down. They don't. They, they just don't. come with ideas and mm-hmm. stuff. They just hear wow. the beat. That's and an they interesting just, process. They, they hear the beat and they just run through it. They create mm-hmm. the melody in their head and they just go. Hey, they don't write amazing, man. They, they <laughs> like. That's, that's what a lot of rappers claim to do now mm-hmm. right now. But for R and B, that's great. That's, that's hard, man. That's hard, dude. Just watching it, it's, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, and, that, and that's good to be in an environment like that, you know, uh, especially if you intern. Or, or that's why I tell people to take a job to learn. Yeah. And of course, you want to earn too, but sometimes the, what you learn is it, going to help you earn down the line, but it might not be at the time. But just, like you say, soaking up the game, being around, looking at the process, mm-hmm. understanding mm-hmm. That, that that's huge, man. That was a main event. I mean, it was it was a short period of time. It was probably like six months. Yeah, yeah but that was that was yeah. that was what it was. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was, that's good though. Where do really you draw your it. inspiration from, man? Like as far as your music and so where you draw inspiration from? Um, you'd be surprised, man. Inspiration for me, as far as just with writing, just with life, just period. It's just mm-hmm. the most simplistic things, man. Mm-hmm. It's, it, it can be uh, the sun come up. Mm-hmm. Something simple. Something some simple. Simple and dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. urge just get there and you get inspired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. seeing people in their own elements mm-hmm. and seeing people, what they passionate about, what yeah. they do, what they, you know, what they go hard for. Yeah. That yeah. inspires me. Yeah. Man. yeah. You know that's, that's big. That's true, man. That's true. Things that you probably wouldn't think of. Yeah, like you wouldn't even think yeah. of, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, mm-hmm. see, just, I just love seeing people in their element. You know what I'm saying? There's this uh, my manager's husband. He's a drummer. His okay. name is uh, Drum Nasty. Okay. Uh, uh, shout out to him. Uh, okay. And he's a drummer, and he does the, he does these uh, buckets. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the bucket, yeah, 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 buckets, okay, yeah, buckets, yeah. and seeing him all the time. I recently just came from New Orleans. Okay. For the uh, was you for the fest? Yeah, man, how was that, man? I didn't go to the festival. Who was going? Yeah. Who was going to go to the festival? I think I did see some on your IG, but, yeah. but just being in the Environment, yeah, man. That was environment there, man. that was amazing. I've never been in New Orleans before. Just wow, the culture, the food, the food, I know the food, food was, right. <laughs> the food was the food, off the chain. Man. Man. What, what is the essence fest like? Two or three days or something? It's like yeah, a weekend yeah. type thing. It's a weekend. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow, yeah. man. So I had a show out there too. Today. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But um, just watching, you know, what I'm saying he mm-hmm. does some bucket things and mm-hmm. he's amazing at it. Just watching him do mm-hmm. his thing. He's in his element. Yeah, he's in his element. Killing it. And I get, you know, I get inspired just being yeah, people just yeah. being themselves and, and just doing what they love to do. Yeah, it inspires you to like, man, mm-hmm. I need, need to be more myself. Yeah. I just mm-hmm. keep being myself. Right. Yeah, that, that's dope, man. That's Absolutely. Dope, man. You Absolutely. got a show down there too, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's live, man. That's yeah, live. Man. And what you got coming up, man? Like, um, uh, you, know, you I got have, an album or something? Are you releasing some singles? Yeah, I got, a, some... I got a single that's going to come out some, uh, sometime uh, next month. It's called Do You Mind. Okay. okay. Um, it's one of, uh, I don't know if you, it's kind of like a, you heard my song Reason? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. it's okay. kind of that vibe. 
Okay, okay. Sexual, yeah, sexual, sexual okay. vibe. Yeah, it always goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, you can't go wrong with that, right? Right. Go wrong with that. <laughs> Man, right. okay. So then you got that coming up, yeah. Another single. I like uh he was did you did um heard some of the remakes and stuff you did. I like how you flipped that uh was it the uh what you did at the Ron's thing? Was it the square the TLC joint? TLC, yeah, 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 yeah I, I like that man. Yeah. You kinda mixed yeah. all that shit yeah. I like when I heard it, I'm yeah. like, this is creative, man. <laughs> I like that, man. That, that was that was that was a piece of writing, man. Yeah, man. What like what inspired that? Is that an official record out? Is yeah, it, it's on the bus. The bus. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that, man. I'm like, man, this is dope. I feel, you know, I did a little trap. It's like a little trap R and B. Yeah, know? yeah, I did yeah. It. The way yeah. the way I did it is, you know, I was just uh, I was talking about a girl. And I'm just naming all TLC songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you killed it. Yeah, who <laughs> 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 Yeah, that was dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. So you know, just gonna keep rocking with you, man. And uh, all your music, yeah, you can find all your music. Are you on all the platforms or what? Yes, Apple all. all Apple Spotify, Music, Spotify, Spotify Tidal, uh, Tidal, Tidal yeah. Google Play. There's so many of them. They like to the do record labels. Like yeah. they like the new record labels. Yeah. Do you yeah. prefer one over the other, or do you get more out of one than other? I know mm -hmm. Spotify lets you. You can see like where your fans are listening. Streaming, yeah. yeah, like like in your. I would say for for art, I mean a lot. I'm almost all the artists know know about this, but you can get a, you know the way to really get paid is mm -hmm. uh, through Spotify. Through Spotify. Through streams, mm -hmm. you can see the streams and how many people. You can actually see it. Yeah, okay. Spotify is, is where the money is at. Mm -hmm. But you know everybody has an iPhone, so everybody uses I, Apple Music. So yeah, that's, that's true. You know? Yeah, I, and, and, and tell the truth, I got both of them. I don't know why, because it's like. It's like different content or different stuff. I use both of them for different reasons. You right. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, it's, it's weird, man. But Spotify, you think, in your opinion, Spotify is where it's at. Spotify, you want to yeah, track it. Yeah, you know, that's, that's where, you know, everybody gets paid. <laughs> really, yeah. that's where the streams come yeah. from, is through Spotify. Yeah. That's what it's about. That's what it's about, man. So we're going to post all the links to his music, to his IG, yes. Facebook yeah. page, too. Yes, I got a okay. Facebook page. It's uh, Nico Blue. Mm -hmm. We'll put all that in Check out all that. So check me out. Once again, it's private, but with limited, <laughs> limited public access. He ain't gonna get, he ain't gonna get everything. He give you just enough. So yeah, you know what I mean. So anything else, man? You wanna get? Yeah, to man. Uh, I just wanna let y'all know. Um, I got this show coming up uh, on the twenty eighth. Uh, it's this uh, July. Uh, this, uh, month? Uh, this month. It's, okay, uh, so it'll be next next Sunday. Yeah, not, next, not tomorrow, which will be the twenty first, but July twenty eighth. Okay. Yeah, and tell uh, us a little about. It's a uh, event. Shout out to Hypnotic's dance crew. Shout out to Mecca. Uh, okay. We doing. He's doing a, a a fundraiser for his. Uh, he has a, a, a dance competition that's coming in at the end of the month. Okay. Uh, it's just a fundraiser for it. It's mm -hmm. called uh, Set It Off. Okay. And, uh, it's gonna be a real big event. A lot of dancers. Mm -hmm. A lot of you know battles. And Okay. Look at everything. everything. Yeah, every, Where is this gonna take place at? It's gonna take at the Rhythms uh, Event Center. Okay. Uh, from three to six p.m. Okay. Just ten dollars to get in. That ain't bad. Um, ain't bad. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. gonna be real entertaining. If you like, like it's gonna be a lot of energy. A lot of energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of dancing yeah. and a lot of performing and a lot of dance crews and you will enjoy yourself. It's, yeah. So make sure you check that out. Yeah. Twenty eighth, July twenty eighth. You said three to six. Three to six. Okay. That sounds like it's gonna be something dope. Absolutely. The streets of Vegas, Nico Blue. We signing off. Peace. The, the, the streets of Vegas. Say my name.